All right, so I'm going to go to do part two, Made in the USA, because I put together the first video, and I need to clean it up a little. First, when we say buyer's remorse, it's a marketing term, so that you know. An embargo on Chinese goods and services because of coronavirus. That's going to be the first thing. And then we need speakers to speak on this, and the only one I know is former Senator Rick Santorum. He's going to be a highlight on this because <laughs> he's been saying this for years. Now, when I get into the rest of this, uh, there's going to be a high demand for manufacturing and made in the USA. So when you make products in the United States, it's going to mean something. I just want to give you the China star here, or you can look at it as a Texas star, however you choose to look at it. What I want you guys to know is, I'm going to give you guys an example of what happened today. Um, we're hired by companies. Once we get hired, we're officially on the payroll. My my former father-in-law worked was three persons down from Jimmy Hoffa when it came to unions and etc. So that you know where I'm coming from. What has been going on in American business is that it was sabotaged a lot over the last 40 years a lot of these companies what they would do is you know they would demand more better better quality better care better everything so that being said it would have to go through quality control and, and we're going to go through an inventory so let me just take you into inventory that's worth a penny this brush is worth a penny now I'm showing you, um, it's real cute. It broke the first time we used it. Now, I've been in the hair business, and I'm showing you the receipt. It was $3, bought at Dollar General. These are the companies that buy, and they're going to become big losers. They're going to lose big. The value of American, the American dollar is going to change. It's going to be, it's going to be worth a lot more. It's also better to have gold, okay? so that you know the standard in which we're talking about. That very brush, though, is worth one penny. That's what they said to me at Dollar General today. So, because I went to go to return it, and the way you treat your customers is going to matter, too. All right. Now, the next story is on opioids. There has been, in this county alone, there have been so many deaths due to opioid addiction and opioids is made in again china that's why this embargo is going to have a ripple effect not in just butler county but all across the united states where opioid addiction is responsible for the overdose overdose doses and deaths of children it was made with one specific ideology the ideological problems with the non-essential that brush is non-essential kids your goods and services are valuable values in america when we go to cpac or anyone knows anything about values in america that brush is made so with it's made so cheap with no quality it's worth a penny and they sold it for three dollars the overhead on that alone. So I want you guys to do an inventory today. If you have a chance to inventory everything you have and see where it was made. And if it was made in Thailand or any of the countries that were responsible for any abuse of any kind, it's going to matter. Because I'm going to tell you, they devalue so many people at the store and restaurant and you have to wear a mask. It's about COVID. The Corona Chinese virus was created in China. That is from the Epoch Times. Let me go to the rest of this story. Do an inventory, please, because you're going to want to do this. This is how you become a business person. I was dating a very important person in the uh, journalist uh, show Market Watch. So, Made in the USA is going to have a lot of... Let's just say it's going to have a lot of, um, what's the right word for this? Um, it's going to mean a lot. 
when you see made in the USA and you know it's been assembled in the USA. This is where Bill Gates is wrong. This is where all those socialists and those communists, that's where all you're wrong. And so many people, when I tell you about buyer's remorse, it's a marketing term. I took marketing classes in college. So did a lot of people. Okay, so when we tell you about an embargo on Chinese products, it's because it, it's made so poorly. And what we want is we're going to want what my father-in-law told me and told my ex-husband is that when, see, Jimmy Hoffa, they, they don't know what happened to Jimmy Hoffa, right? Well, my ex-husband's dad was shot uh, three times once, uh, almost to the point where he almost died. And he, he told us about the kind of things that were going on and how they buy things at the garment district right off the shipping dock, okay? And you can sell it for like five cents. It's worth five cents at the shipping dock. It, the overhead is how, how the companies make money. So when you look at companies like Let's just say the companies that were just starting out in the 70s, I would say the Shakely products, people who were selling uh, health and beauty services, they're smart. Very smart strategy. Those of you who worked or have done your homework about, um, what, what's the other company? Amway. Um, anytime you learn about where the products are made and you... I, I know people that are buyers that work for companies and they know if they buy that product, it's not going to sell, okay? And the economic strategy here is that when, when a, a huge Trump USA following has, has created a new, a, a new economy that your children will have a benefit package you want your children, when they go to work, that they're going to be working and making good, decent money and a quality life. This is the responsibility of you as a future, the future that our children do not have to carry the debt. The debt that was passed down to us because of foolish choices wholesalers and businesses and market watch you're gonna lose big if you buy chinese products and services i'm just telling you everyone's pulling away from china for a reason watch and see okay so a bill was just passed in congress to sue the drug manufacturers get a good attorney and sue them if you lost a child or family member to opioids uh, or overdose Local, we have witnessed a mass loss of life over opioids in Butler County, PA. The drugs that were made in China were meant to cause pain and suffering. This is one of the biggest stories right now. Here, there have been funerals over this. So, I, my, first, my first thought is... I'm not an attorney. I worked as a legal specialist in the Army. I don't have any experience in any of the things. I know I have limited training. I can only tell you, when you go to a funeral and you know that somebody died over this and it was meant to kill, there are probably more things going on criminally than just what all of you have gone through with opioids. Get a good attorney and sue them because right now that that bill was just passed in Congress. I, I want to go further, but I'm limited to my time. Here's the last of it. When it says in the Bible to seek you first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you, that is truly what the word of God is. It's to seek the Lord on this and you're going to eventually get to that place. Those who have suffered. The Lord said, seek ye first in the kingdom of God and all these things will be added. Every need will bow. And everything that you've ever gone through will make more sense now that the truth is out. And the story is coming.